Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another vlog. I'm really excited, really, really hyped for this because I'm actually gonna be taking you guys along with me for the week with my hair. So today we're getting into washing and styling and then throughout the week as I refresh, as I go to bed, every day if I need to fluff, like I'm just literally gonna show you everything that I do with my hair for the entire week. So yeah, before we actually jump straight in to day one, please do make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and make sure you hit that notification bell so you can be notified every single time a new video drops. All right, let's go. Okay, so as you guys can see right now, I have already washed and I am deep conditioning my hair at the moment. So let me give you the cleansing details. So today I actually went in with the As I Am Coconut Co-Wash. This is a really, really good co-wash. I'm gonna show you guys actually the consistency. This thing is thick and coconutty and it's just, it's glorious. It's a really, really nice co-wash. And not only is it like thick and moisturizing, but it is very cleansing as well. And I really love it. And my scalp really enjoys this as well. So yeah, after I finished co-washing, I then went in with this Camille Rose deep conditioner. This is the one called Algae Renew. This feels so good. Let me actually show you guys because I've had this in my hair for about 30 minutes now. Let me show you guys the juice. Yes, do you see this? Look at how juicy it is. I love this deep conditioner. It's giving like some really intense moisture and it's just so juicy. This is one of those products that you have to make sure to like really comb through your curls properly. If you just kind of like slap it on top, it just kind of sits on top. But when you comb it through and let it get like all juicy in your curls, I mean, like you can already tell my curls are like super, super happy, very moisturized. And I'm like, I can already tell this is about to be a really good wash and go. Oh, I forgot to mention my Thermal Hair Care Hothead. This is my OG heat cap for when I'm doing my deep conditioners and I really wanna take it to the next level, add a little bit of heat, open up my hair shaft, you know? So you just put it in your microwave to heat it up, put it on your head and then, yeah, you just literally just wear it, walk around all day, do your errands, do whatever you need to do and your hair is just in there deep conditioning and it's great, I love this. So every single thing that I do mention in this video will be put in the description box below. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and wash this out so we can get into to some wash and go styling. Dripping. All right, so let's get into the styling. I mean, this right here, zero product. You can just tell, like, this deep conditioner was really good for my curls. Like, zero product right now. This is, this is about to be. All right, so let me just go ahead and section my hair. So a little trick I actually like to do now is leave a little bit of deep conditioner in my hair. I washed it out, I would say I washed about 85% of it out, so we still got a little bit left in here, but that's just gonna give us some added moisture. So lately, I've actually kind of been liking to do that instead of actually using a leave-in conditioner. So I'm just gonna go straight in with some styling products now. All right, so I'm gonna be using three styling products today. First, I'm going in with the Shea Moisture Curl Mousse. This has been really good for my hair so far, but I'm still kind of experimenting with it. I've used it once. So I'm gonna go ahead and use it again. The reason why I'm really liking curl mousse is that it really keeps my hair nice and wet. So when we slap the gel on top, ooh, it's just juicy and nice and it's curl definition city. So I'm really, really loving that. And then for the gels, the two gels that I'm mixing today is gonna be the Curlsmith In Shower Style Fixer and then the Camille Rose Curl Maker. So again, don't worry, everything is gonna be in the description box below. All right, so just going in with the mousse first. So I really like to actually put a lot of effort into my day one wash and go styling because this is really gonna set the tone for the week. So I like to make sure that this is going to be nice so that we can make sure we're gonna last, you know? This is where I'm really putting all the effort, all the product, like day one is like the most important day. Just gonna add a little bit of excess water. With these gels in particular, you need your curls to be super wet for it to be super effective. All right, you see this? You see this level of wetness soaking? If you ever wonder how I get my wash and goes to work so well, this is the key, making sure that you're styling while your hair is soaking wet. All right, next going in with the In Shower Style Fixer. Just starting off with this much for this little section here. My hair dries so fast, so I'm constantly having to re-wet and re-wet and re-wet again. All right, and then on top, I'm just going in with a little bit of the curl maker. Okay, I can literally feel 
the definition happening. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Yes, this is how you want your hair to look on day one. Especially if you're one of those people who don't like to wash often, you wanna go the full seven days, this is the level of effort you're gonna have to put in on day one in order to make sure that your curls are like, like snapped into shape. Zero frizz, that's what I like to see. So I'm just going ahead and repeating those same steps in each section, basically. That's it, super easy, super simple, but just making sure that each strand is gonna be coated equally and also dripping wet. Oh, I think I might have actually forgotten to tell you guys what is in my spray bottle. It's the usual, just a mixture of conditioner and water. So for this next part, now once all the sections have been done, I'm just gonna flip my hair over and then really scratch. And I'm also gonna go in with some additional gel, okay? I'm really trying to make this wash and go last. We're not playing any games today. I'm also very picky with the front of my hair. I need these to be defined. Not just defined, but defined. So going in with some extra Camille Rose on top of these bad boys in the front. All right, so here is how we are looking. So intense curl definition, lack of frizz. This is what your day one should look like. If you're already seeing frizz, if you're seeing like poofy areas, that's always like a really bad sign. So you kind of want to make sure that your hair is nicely styled. You're happy with it while it's wet so that the curls kind of set in that way. If you're seeing frizz, the curls are gonna set in that way. They're gonna dry like that, frizzy, and then you're just not gonna be happy with it. So you gotta make sure you continue applying water, applying product until you get the juice. And then we get the curls to set with the juice. You feel me? Okay. So I'm really happy with this. I already know that for me personally, these products really work. So if you have curls similar to mine, then great. Maybe you can try these out. So yeah, this is usually kind of like my go-to wash and style. Oh, and one more thing. So this is how my hair has just kind of fell on its own. It just has its natural little kind of line in the middle there. So with curly bangs, I don't really like for them to dry in front of my face because then I'm stuck for hours not being able to see. So what I do is kind of tilt my hair forward and then allow it to part like where it naturally parts. And then I just let it dry like this. So once it's actually fully dry, that's when I can fluff. That's when I can kind of finagle it into the way that I kind of like it to be, but not until it's dry. I'm just gonna sit around, let this air dry, and then I'll be back to show you guys what it looks like when we're a little bit more dry. So right now, my hair is still very wet, like on the inside, the ends are kind of dry, but I just wanted to quickly show you guys <laughs> how it's drying, it's drying pretty small, but very, very defined. So this is like really like coming together. Like it's looking really, really good. I have to go outside. It's pretty humid outside because it was raining and now it's sunny. And so yeah, I gotta go outside and I quickly just wanted to show you guys how we're looking now. Hopefully the humidity doesn't kill it. All right, boom, I'm back. I'm back from the walk and we look exactly the same. So I think this actually really set up to the humidity outside, which is great because usually if my hair is not like fully dry, that's really when the humidity can really get in there and actually mess up the entire wash and go. Um, but I'm pretty happy with how it looks. So I actually am super excited today because my mom is coming. So I gotta actually go and pick her up from the airport. So I'm really, really looking forward to this. I'm gonna go ahead and pick her up and then I will be back to give you an update when my hair is finally dry. Maybe we can fluff it a little bit together. I don't know. Maybe we'll wait till day two to fluff. But yeah, I'll be back in a little bit. All right, so it is, what time is it? It is minutes to nine o'clock and this is my hair 100% fully dry, I have not fluffed or anything, and you know what, since it's so late at night, I don't think I'm gonna fluff it at all tonight. I think I'm just gonna leave it, really make it set like this, and then tomorrow morning, I will be back to kind of fluff it out and show you how I like fix my bangs and everything in the morning. Um, in terms of going to sleep, Usually on the first night, I kind of just like to leave it just like this. I will definitely be sleeping on a silk pillowcase, but I don't want to disrupt the curls too much. It's usually more a night of the day two where I will do like a pineapple and I'll obviously be showing you guys all of that later on in the rest of this video. But for tonight, I literally think I'm just going to sleep with it just like this. I will probably kind of, you know, 
push it back and then kind of lay down just like this. It's gonna move throughout the night, but it shouldn't be too bad. The cast should really hold it all together and we should be perfectly fine in the morning. So yeah, that's basically it for day one. I will check in with you guys in the morning. Good morning. So it is day two, bright and early in the, well, not really bright and early. It's about 9 a.m. right now. And this is how I woke up with my hair. So let me tell you, let me just tell y'all. This is the reason why I put so much effort in to day one. I love being able to just wake up and go. And basically that's all I'm gonna have to do this morning. So I'm literally just gonna take this and fluff it out a little bit. Y'all know I love a little bit of volume. So now we've got the curl definition there. The shine is there, it is set. So now we gotta encourage a little bit more volume and honestly, there is nothing like crazy that I do. It's literally just a lot of this. Fluffing and shaping and fluffing and shaping some more. Once the bangs are like fully kind of fluffed out, I then kind of just take them by the roots and scrunch them up just a little bit so they're not too much in my eyes. And then we just fluff some more. I mean, this is usually how all my day twos look. So sometimes for my bangs, they will be like super clumped. So I'm just gonna kind of separate those clumps a little bit. Here, Hershey. <laughs> All right, so this is basically it. This is how we are looking for day two in the morning. I love it. I'm actually really, really happy with how this came out, but I already knew because I genuinely love these two gels and you guys have seen the success from mixing gels. If you wanna hear a little bit more detail on why mixing gels works for me and like how I do it and all that, I'll link the video up here and in the description box below for you guys to check out as well. Cause if you haven't seen it, go see it. It could change your life. So yeah, day two. We fluff and go, and that's it. That's always my goal, honestly, for day two. I know my wash day was successful if I can just get up and fluff and go. So today, I'm gonna be on the road. I've kind of got a little bit of a busy day today. So I'll check back in with you guys later on this evening so we can talk about what I'm gonna do in the nighttime to make sure that this still looks really cute tomorrow for day three, all right? All right, guys, so it is the end of day two. What time is it? It's about like 8.30ish. And this is how my hair is looking. It's been a long day. I spent a long day, not just in the house, but I was out and about today actually, still being safe, of course, wearing my mask. I hope y'all are wearing your mask too. Um, but yeah, I had a couple errands to run, so I was kind of out for a long time today. So I'm actually pretty proud of how my hair looks right now. We still got really good curl definition. Shine is still there. It's, you know, you can obviously tell it's a little bit more frizzy, you know, it's, it's kind of coming out and being its little unruly self as usual, but like I'm not mad at it at all. It's definitely still looking really, really good. These bangs are starting to get a little bit frizzy. This is usually actually the first place to get a little messed up, a little bit frizzy. Um, and also like kind of like the back here, my little dry patch in the middle here. But yeah, overall, I'm still pretty happy with how my hair looks. We did really good this wash day. Um, one thing you're gonna probably notice a lot in this video is that I don't really like to reapply products too much. I might have to tomorrow for day three, but I usually don't actually like to reapply, which is why I go so hard on day one when we're washing styling. So yeah, tonight I'm actually not gonna apply any products at all. All I'm gonna do is go ahead and put my hair up in a pineapple. I know y'all are always asking for my nighttime routine. Well, <laughs> this is it. It's like super simple pineapple, sleeping on a satin pillowcase, and that's it. So I'm gonna grab this scrunchie. This is actually one of the newer scrunchies that Pattern Beauty just launched. If you guys didn't see my Pattern Beauty review, make sure you watch that before you actually think about trying the products, just so y'all can see how it worked in my curls. If you have similar curls, then you might wanna watch that first. But I did say in that video how much I love the hair accessories. So yeah, these scrunchies are definitely a fave and I love the fact that they are satin. So that's always really, really good for curly hair. So I'm literally just going to go ahead and put my hair up in a very loose pineapple. I like to try and push it like to the front, you know, like real pineapple vibes. And then I'm just gonna literally loop this around once. Ooh. Boom, the 
that is it. Literally, that is it. So just a very simple loose pineapple. You can see where my hair naturally kind of parts in the middle, still kind of there. So it's gonna keep the whole shape kind of intact. It's gonna kind of keep all of this stuff together so it's not gonna be kind of like moving around the place while I'm sleeping at night. It's all gonna kind of just be in one so we don't have to worry about that. My ends are gonna be caught up nicely as well so that curl definition will be preserved as well. So yeah, this plus sleeping on the satin pillowcase. That's very, very important. Um, so yeah, those two are my next time routine. That's basically it. I gotta go and get some more work done, some editing and all that fun stuff since I was on the road like all day. So I will catch you guys in the morning for some day three action. Bye. Ta-da. Okay, welcome to day three here. So yes, I am looking a little cute. I'm a little glammed up because I gotta do a mini photo shoot, get some content today. But as you can see, I have not touched my hair since we put it up in this pineapple last night. So this is how we're looking. I did take a hot shower, so there was a little bit of steam involved. So I'm really not sure what to expect. But let's go ahead and take this out. Ah, uh, yes, you see why I love the pineapple. You can already see it just kind of flopped right down back into place. We've got a little bit of fluffing to do and maybe a little bit of refreshing to the frizzy areas, but other than that, the pineapple really kind of helped to keep like the frizz away. And then we still got our curl definition intact and everything, so ooh, this is why I love the pineapple for a nighttime routine. All right, so now I'm just gonna go through and just fluff a little bit and see if I can shape without having to actually add any additional product. All right, so I'm seeing like a few frizz spots in the front, so you can see a little bit of frizz starting right here, a little bit in the bang here, a little bit happening on the side there, but it's not too crazy. Like the majority of the hair still kind of looks all right. So instead of actually applying a product to my entire head of hair, I am just going to work on refreshing those little frizzy spots. So all I'm really gonna use for that is my Shea Moisture Curl Mousse. So this is like the easiest way ever to refresh your hair. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of mousse, rub it in between like the tops of my fingers, and then I'm literally just gonna grab like the frizzy spots and run the mousse through those spots. Just like that. Don't worry about the white stuff because that's gonna evaporate really, really soon once it's fully dry, but that's it. That's basically all I'm gonna do is kind of just address the little frizzy spots that I want to deal with and that's it. So I'm also noticing like underneath here a little bit is a little bit kind of like misshapen. So I'm just gonna still grab the mousse, but this time I'm gonna rub it in the palm of my hands and then boom, we're just gonna scrunch a little bit, like kind of scrunch it into those areas. Let's try and bring them back into shape. So yeah, just continuing to, see so yeah, I'm basically just continuing to fluff and scrunch and fluff and scrunch until my hair is kind of in the shape that I really, really like it. All right, so here we are. For day three, I honestly like to kind of have some fun with the volume. I love, love a good, big, fluffy kind of fro. And so at this stage, we still got a good amount of curl definition, but the volume has definitely increased, but I am loving it. I love it. I just love to fluff and to play with it. Like the bigger, honestly, it is the better. That's just my personal preference. So. Yeah, ta-da, I think I'm pretty much happy with it here. So again, like I said, it's not perfect. We got frizz coming through, but I'm working with it because I feel like it's a vibe. I mean, I feel like it's a look. What do you think? Comment below and let me know what you think about this day three here we got going on. So yeah, that's it for my day three refresh. I will meet y'all back in the nighttime so we can talk about how I'm gonna go to bed. All right, so I'm so sorry, but for some reason the rest of the videos in this video have all recorded without sound. So we're gonna be doing a voiceover. Don't worry, you're still gonna get all the deets. It's gonna be fine. So for nighttime, we're just going ahead and doing the same exact thing we did yesterday, using my Pattern Beauty Satin Scrunchie and putting my hair up in a pineapple and making sure to sleep on a silk pillowcase. So that is basically it 
for day three. And then on to day four, so I have to tell you all, off the bat, I have not done much of anything today. I have literally just been sitting down, doing editing and everything, so it is later on in the afternoon right now. Normally, I would not be doing anything to my hair. It would just literally stay in this pineapple all the way until tomorrow. But for the sake of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I would refresh my hair in case we actually needed to go somewhere. So as you can see here, we actually need to do deeper refreshing today. So first I'm going in with my little refresher spray. Again, it's the same mixture of conditioner and water in my spray bottle and that is basically it. So the reason why I'm going in with this first is I wanna make sure that my hair gets nice and damp because we are actually gonna be going in with a cream product and my hair really receives products much better when it's wet or damp. So then I'm going in with my Brio Geo Leave-In Defining Cream. This is part of their Curl Charisma line. It is so, so good. So this is not only gonna help to try and encourage more curl definition again, but it's also gonna add a little bit of moisture back into my curls as well. So I'm just kind of scrunching this into the hair. Again, the main aim of the game here is to try and bring back a little bit more curl definition. You can see we're a little bit more frizzy today. So then on top of that, I am going back in with my Shea Moisture Curl Mousse, and I'm really focused on those extra frizzy spots first. So yeah, I'm just taking the product and smoothing it over those frizzy areas and then boom, you can see that it is really giving back some really nice curl definition. So just going through like this on every single like crazy frizzy spot that I see. I really, really love mousse because it's so lightweight but it's clearly effective. Like you can see that it gets the job done and you don't have to worry about any like insane buildup. Like look at how it just, deals with that frizz. I love, love, love the way that this mousse works. All right, so that is basically it. You can see my hair is pretty damp, but I'm gonna just go ahead and give the mousse some time to fully dry down before we see our final day four look. And boom, we are back literally 15 minutes later. This is how we are looking on day four. I'm really, really happy with how this wash and go is lasting and I'm loving the mixture of volume and curl definition. So because I did say that it is already later in the afternoon, we're just gonna go ahead and move right on into our nighttime routine. And yes, it's the same thing. Once again, we are just going back in with our Pattern Beauty satin scrunchie, putting it up in a pineapple, and that is basically it. So yeah, I'll see y'all for day five. Good morning, so welcome to my day five hair. This is going to be the final day of this video. So let's go ahead and see what we're working with on day five with this crazy fro. So you can see that it is big, it is fluffy, but the good thing is we still have a good level of curl definition. The frizz is not looking too, too crazy. Like I feel like we are in a pretty good spot for day five hair. Again, this is why I reiterated so many times of why it's so, so important to make sure that you're putting in all the effort on day one. So right here, I'm thinking about like what hairstyle I'm gonna do for this photo shoot, maybe like a little pinup style. I just wanna do something a little bit different than my regular bangs. I just wanted to switch it up just a little bit. So first I'm starting with spraying my hair a little bit, just getting it a little bit damp so it's easier to reshape. And then I'm going ahead and fixing this little side swoop that I wanted to go with for today. And then we fluff and fluff and fluff and fluff. Like we are fluffing a lot today because what I'm really trying to go for is some really big volume. I wanted to encourage you guys to own your big hair, especially if it's that day five hair. Like, don't feel ashamed of it, you know, just own it, fluff it out, make it big, make it a look. Honestly, like big hair is in and it's a vibe. So just own it, sis. So that's exactly what I'm doing here today. You can see I've kind of decided against doing that whole pinup thing. I'm just gonna leave my hair out. So once I've got it in the shape that I wanted, I'm then going in with my curl mousse again. I use this like basically every single day. So I'm just kind of using this to address my little frizzy spots. I'm not overly worried about addressing too many frizzy spots today because we are actually trying to work with the frizz. It's really mainly kind of the front of my hair that I don't like for it to be overly frizzy. Everywhere else you can kind of get away with it, but the front, especially if you're taking photos or something, like you kind of want that to look a little bit more defined. We're still going for the big poofy look, but you still kind of want 
a little bit more curl definition in the front. So that's really kind of where I'm focusing the mousse. In order to help us kind of reshape the bottom of my hair as well, I'm going in with some mousse that is slathered all over my palms and just scrunching that in to the bottom of my hair. All right, so this is how we're looking now. You can see kind of where I use the mousse. We lost a little bit of volume, but what I'm gonna do now to get some of that volume back is grab my diffuser. So the diffuser is great because it's going to help to dry the mousse, it's gonna give us more volume, and it's also gonna help to encourage curl definition at the same time. So this is literally gonna get our look like all the way together. So as usual, I'm just using my diffuser on the lowest airflow setting as well as the lowest heat setting. All right, so we are getting there. The very last thing that I actually wanna do for this look is go ahead and slick down one side of my hair a little bit just to give us a little bit of a clean edge right there you know so my current favorite edge control of all time is the pattern beauty edge control so i'm starting by wetting my edges first and then going in with the edge control on top again like i said my hair just receives products a lot better when it's wet then i'm just grabbing my little edge control tool and swooping these edges back super simple not going for any complicated edges today i literally just kind of wanted a little bit of a sleek vibe kind of to provide a little bit of contrast between the big hair and then the little slick edge. I don't know, I just thought it was gonna be something a little bit cute. So yeah guys, that is basically it for my day five look and that is actually gonna be it for this video because day five is usually the furthest I will go with my hair out. So honestly, in terms of looks, like I, I genuinely feel like this wash and go was pretty incredible and we could actually keep going if we really wanted to in terms of looks, but I can already tell that for my curls, they are missing a little bit of moisture, they're missing a little bit of additional product, like they're actually craving that wash day where we just completely replenish and give my hair back everything that it needs. So that's usually why around day four or day five, I will end up washing again. Just to make sure that my curls are staying healthy and fed with all the nutrients that they need. But again, still super, super impressed with all that we were able to achieve with this wash and go. It was so bomb. I really hope that you still enjoyed this video even though we had to go ahead and do a voice note for the second half. I still really love the video and had a lot of fun sharing with you guys exactly what it's like to have my hair for five days straight. If you have any additional questions for me, go ahead and comment them below. And also if you did enjoy this, don't forget to give your girl a little thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching guys. I will catch you in the next one. Bye.